Good evening, everybody. I uh, just wanted to remind you that ev to everyone out there watching, if you're thinking of coming to Akron and want to try out for our varsity teams, the deadline is fast approaching as all tryouts are happening in February. So make sure to visit uakron.edu slash esports and Absolutely. fill out the interest form. Absolutely. Thank you, Jake. And also on top of that, if you want to keep up with things, all things Zips Esports, make sure to head over to our Twitter at Zips Esports. Um, give us a follow in there. Keep up to date with all things Zips Esports. Also on our Twitch channel, if you're not already following, the button's right below you. It's free. Go ahead and click that for us. And if you're a Akron student watching tonight and want to get more involved with Zips Esports, you can go to uakron.edu forward slash discord. Uh, it'll give you a quick invite to our discord. Come hang out with us. Hang out with all the gamers here at Akron. Also, if you're a UA student, you are able to get a 100% free COVID test from the health services on campus. Akron is encouraging all students that believe they, are, they may have been in contact with someone with COVID-19 to pick up a test. It's easy and painless. Contact health services at 330-972-7808. Thank you. And on top of that, our sponsors is what makes Zipsy Sports run and function as a program. So again, thank you to our sponsors, Audio Technica, our exclusive audio partner, Steel Series, our exclusive peripheral partner, Archon, our jersey provider, Gravity Gaming PC, our PC provider, and Cleveland Clinic, our sports health provider. Thank you to those guys for helping this program run. Jake, we're back with week two with CCL. We have a lot of content again tonight. Another double header, Shandanoa Blue, Robert Moore University. Uh, two matches, one should be one-sided and one a little bit tossed up here. Jake, what are your predictions for tonight as we hop into week number two? Oh, man, I'm so excited after seeing week number one. We had a close game in the first one versus WVU in an absolute blow up, blowout against Shawnee State. Uh, we saw this team is great at control, great at slaying out. I'm looking forward to seeing the same thing at hard point today, though, as you saw last week they lost by one point on checkmate hard point. Look for them to, they didn't just say, hey, we're close to it. We can try it again and we'll take this one. They uh, worked on it all week trying to get better and hoping that they're going to slay them out this time. Yeah, for sure. I think the control on both, you know, even against WV, WVU, we saw that control was hands down our best game mode, which is a shocker. I think both me and you going into it, it was the one I was most worried about as an Akron fan. Um, but going into week two, I'm not worried about control at all. These guys are absolutely dominant on it. Um, I think S&D is where they need to pick it up a little bit. For sure, SD was a little bit rocky last week, but hard points again, I think they're pretty solid. Again, that checkmate hard point came down to these little things. Again, WU is a great team. Uh, they put up again, they put up, I mean, good numbers against Ohio State, which is the number one team in our division. So, again, it's a team not to really like, you know, undermine, um, but for mm -hmm. sure, a solid team. You know, I think it was a good first week for the guys, you know, to get that quick, you know, not quick 2 0, but a good 2 0 under their belt to start the season off. This first game against Shenandoah Blue. Should be a more of a blowout game. Shenandoah Blue is Shenandoah University's B team. So it's not their A team, uh, their JV team. Um, and they are currently 0-3 right now. So a little bit of a rough start for them. I'm not going to completely discount them. A lot of, you know, a lot of good teams in the CCL right now. So maybe they had a, a tough first couple of games to start the season off. But again, if you're starting off 0-3, it's a little rocky. So I'm, I'm expecting the boys to do pretty well against the Shenandoah team. But going into this, our second game of the night at 930, Robert Morris University out of Pennsylvania. They're 3-0 right now. Um, and so I don't know what their score lines have been. I don't know if their games have been blowouts or not. But a team that's 3-0, something we should look out for, for sure. Yeah, for sure. And uh, uh, are we getting started here? Are we? I, I think we are in a second. I mean, we're hopping to these maps here, Jake. We, we're hopping to a raid hardpoint, which is infamously Akron's number one game. I mean, number one map on hardpoint. Would you agree with me there? No doubt. Raid for anything, honestly, whether it be Search and Destroy, Control, or, or hardpoint. They're dominant on this map. They've been playing this for years now. Yeah, and for sure, again, we're look. Uh oh I think we're actually not going into game two. That's okay, as our, the lobby just broke. Um yeah, Ray, Ray Hardpoint, you know, it's been a map since Black Ops 2. I think it's a fan favorite for, for sure. Um, I think, again, it's, it's just so plain and simple. We always just love Treyarch games because of how well they just work, right? I mean, spot, you know, with the squad spawns, you know, spawns are just a big thing. Again, we're looking to guys like, uh, looking to guys like Pack to really hold down those spawns, especially going from P3 to P4 can be some big money hills. Um, but outside of that, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting Akron to kind of wipe this one up. When we played Shawnee State Gray last week, a team that was also kind of around the same level of, uh, Sharon Noah Blue. We saw a 50 point club out of them on this map specifically last week. So I'm expecting similar results going into this one today. 
Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. I know uh, our Call of Duty B team also played these guys earlier in the year. And they're a team, they don't really have the slaying power that Akron does, but they do throw their lives at the hill, and they do a good job at playing the objective. They set up well, they set up early, they rotate, and you just need to break their hills. Yeah, and a quick plug in any Akron people in chat. Akron has more than just our A-teams. We have some club teams who are also pretty nasty here on campus, so if you're looking to get more involved, Akron has many club teams uh, to get involved with, so can we get involved if you're an Akron student? But, I mean, yeah, I really do expect a quick three out of the guys. Uh, you know, hope, you know, just knowing out of them. Again, I hope Shano is a good game. I don't want this to be a blowout, but uh, the guys have been firing on all cylinders, honestly. I mean, I, I've seen a lot of good stuff out of them. Um, and so I think we're getting ready to hop into it here. Everyone's in the lobby, thankfully. So me and Jake don't have to continue to, <laughs> to talk about nothing. Because no, I, I know you guys in chat just want to watch some gameplay. And so do me and Jake. You know, we have a lot of COD tonight. Again, these are best of threes. I'm mean, sorry, best of fives, first to three wins. Uh, for you know, those new to Call of Duty, there's three game modes you play in competitive. It's hard point, control, and s and I just flipped the control and s and I don't know why I did that. Uh, it's hard point first, search and destroy, and then control. We go back to a hard point, and then to s and if we have to go to those maps four and five. Uh, again, I'm more of a fan of hard point. You know, it's one of my favorite game modes. A lot more action, but again, s and you're looking for those awesome 1v3 clutches. Uh, a lot of cool moments out of those. I want to see somebody drop a nuke tonight. A That's nuke what I want to see. A nuke doubt, yes. A nuke doubt, nuclear 30 kills without dying. I mean, it, 30 it's kills, 30 gun streak. I don't know this. I need to look that up in like the CDO, the professional COD league. I don't know if it's ever happened. I mean, there's no way it's ever happened in the COD league before. I bet it's happened in like GBs or like it's probably happened in the CCL if like against some stacked teams, but I don't, I don't, man, that'd be, that's a feat if you can get a 30 and 0. I mean, at that point, you're not even like playing the objective, Jake. You're just sitting there like on the corner of the map just playing for kills. It's true, but today is a special day for PAC as this day, February 11th, 1998. A little boy, Pac, was born. So if anybody's going to do it, today's a special day for him. Wait, so today is Pac's birthday? Today is Pac's birthday. Everyone in chat, I want a happy birthday, Pac. I mean, what his first name is, uh, it's Steve. Steven. Yeah, yeah. Steve. You, you, you always get a happy birthday, Steven, in the chat. Uh, what is that? 20 turns 23? 23. Yeah. 23 years old today. Happy birthday, Steve. I actually didn't know that. I feel bad now. Not knowing. <laughs> I mean, okay, Jake, if it's Steve's birthday, we need a 2-0 tonight because that's, I mean, that's a... That's a great birthday gift right there. Yeah, you got to celebrate somehow. I With absolutely. COVID going on, the only that's way to do cool. it is online. Exactly. Um, so again, again, appreciate appreciate all of you tuning in tonight. Um, we're just waiting to get this lobby set up right now. We're having some lobby issues. I don't know what's completely going on. Um, <laughs> let me see. Ah, so their podcasters having problems. Um, let me see. Just Wilson. Yeah, so quick oh, lobby issues. Yeah. Welcome to welcome to online call of duty, everybody. Uh oh, we have the two wrong people on the wrong side of the map. Codcaster, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a great night so far. I know, yeah. The to the 40 people in chat, thanks for being here. We'll start soon. This is not typical of us here at Zip Sports. We we strive for excellence, but this is out of our control right now. Um, and so we'll get going here soon. Again, a lot of cut action tonight. So even though we're starting a little late, uh, we'll be playing tonight. Don't worry. We will get all those matches in. Um, hopefully we can just get ourselves on Codcast here. Yep. Okay. I see. I see that. Now let's change the map to raid. We can do that. Come on. Whoever's hosting the lobby. Give me a raid hard point. Hmm. I believe we have Alex hosting the lobby. Yeah. I'm trying to think. He did hey, a great search you... destroy last time. He did. Jake, did you get to catch the CDL this week? I know it started the is it the Atlanta Phase kickoff tournament this weekend? I'm pretty sure. Yes. And it Dallas is. Empire absolutely smoked. I can't remember who they played, but I mean, it's Dallas Empire. They smoke everybody, right? Yeah. I mean, we love the boys C6 in them. But hey, guess what? We can stop wasting time and torching time. Yes. Twitch chat, get excited. I want some pogs in chat. We're hopping to Raid Hardpoint. Zips Esports versus Shandanoa Blue. Raid Hardpoint. Here we are. Again, players look out for it. Fiend was an absolute phenom on the map last week. And so we hop into here. If we can also get our overlay on top of it, that'd be great. And we have Hearts is averaging two minutes in the hill. 
I mean, for that's, hard in, that's insane. Again, Hearts is a guy that we've constantly said, hey, we need you playing that objective, doing what you can. And man, he is put up every single time. And thankfully, he comes through every time. But man, two kills going down quickly for the side of Shenandoah Blue. And it looks like Pax lots alive. Gets a kill onto Toxic Rewind. Okay, turn this guy inside hill though. He can't. After him, already kind of losing this initial time here on ring. Yeah, a lot of red in the kill feed, but still even kept it contested. That's all you need to do for this first hill. You need to make it a priority to flip spawns to get over to that kitchen hill. As you see, we got five over there. Malgus already holding it. Now Akron does get control of this hill. All blue for Akron. All kills are going to be able to push out. Shenda Noah is uh, spawning all the way back garage. They're going to lose spawns for this next one. Yeah, Akron with a little rough, shaky start there on, on the first side of this hill. But man, they are picking it up right now as they get all wiped mid. And look at that. The kill piece is lighting up blue for the side of Akron. And this is a perfect setup for P2. As you can see, all those blue dots, they can't kill hearts off the point here. These get the rest of the time. But yeah, look at these red dots on your mini map. All of them spawning Zig here. And that's a funnel through mid here. Yeah, they're only challenging through one way. You'd like to see them go through different sides. And now once they're all getting just picked off, Akron has this locked down. Oh, a little break from Shawnee. Thieves going to take care of that again. Akron's already set up again. Sh Shenandoah is going to be spawning out. Nothing you can do here. Yeah, the big thing I'm going to see is you know, Shenandoah is fishing left on the clock here. I, again, you got you know, it's hard in Harpoint sometimes to say, hey guys, we need to chalk this hill and go new. Um, because, you know, it's this map can snowball super hard uh, if you don't really get this time again. Shenandoah's already on 60 points, but look at, yeah, look at the red dots. This is a good call from Shenandoah Blue. I like this play. They're going to give up P2 and just play for a garage time and hopefully get a good 60 here. And with that, they'll be back. They'll be right back in this game. Olin already rotating, but you see now Akron has recognized that and they're going to be able to rotate as well. Got to make sure if you're Shenandoah, you do not die here because you will spawn at the old hill. So if you will need to hold your spawn before responding here if you do yeah. die. Yeah, I'm looking for Akron to take their time. It looks like they're kind of just pushing one, one on ones right now, losing these 1v1 gunfights to Shenandoah Blue here. Uh, the, again, right now, Akron, he's a slow their roll down. They're up 80 points. They just need to take their time here and look for a good team break here. Again, another look at look at the yeah, Akron just pushing one by one here. I'm not really a fan of this, but Tobe's gonna pick up one and he's gonna have to wait for the rest of the Akron to come forward here. And he's doing work now, too. My game's frozen. Uh, Looks like there's going to be finally a break. Three go down. Pack lightening it up right now as he's eight and five. But again, with 20 seconds left on the clock, Shenanoa getting some time there, but Akron continue to hold this lead. As long as Akron doesn't let Shenanoa string a, together a couple of hills, we should be fine here with that early lead we had in P1 and P2. Yeah, and you see Akron getting there a little bit earlier this time. Going to get all the kills in that P3 hard point. Uh, Shenanoa is going to be spawning all the way out of driveway. Yeah, I love this power position from Pack. It's a heads up play to hold hold down here by Tiki, which was going to force all of Shenandoah Blue to push all the way back around right here to Tobes and funnel right to him back jungle. Yeah, he knows he's going to be looking at two places, middle steps and top money because he's got a teammate up there top of the uh, behind kitchen. Doesn't have to worry about anything else. They're all going to be funneling through poolside now. Yeah, you see Tobes not playing the hill there. Again, in the hard point, you need to be inside the hill to get points, but again, Spawns are a big thing in hardpoint. You want to spawn close to the hill. Look at that mini map. Look at all those red dots spawning across the map from pool every time they die. Again, it's thanks to Toes back there holding back jungle to make sure that we get these favorable spawns. But look at this score of already 150 to 30. I mean, it's looked competitive from Shenandoah Blue Jake. I mean, the, the kill phase been going back and forth, but Akron is just playing much better hardpoint, fundamental hardpoint. And we're up 130 points going into P5. Yeah, Shenandoah really only had that uh, P2 in Garage where Again, it's another one just like P3 in basketball court. You're going to spawn all the way out if you can't get control of spawns. Yeah, heads up play from Thieves in there. That guy was sitting ring. Thanks for the two piece of hill. He auto mantles and still gets the kill on Oh, Bernie. my goodness. Uh, we're going to get the trade though, and, but Tobes and pick him up. Good contention there from the boys to get initial control. I think they're going to know. Yeah, Pac's going to hop up here on top ring to hopefully <laughs> to look over all of Pillars here. Yeah, now you, you know you got all your guys either in the middle of the kitchen, they're going to be spawning Zig and driveway. Now, pushing out, they're going to know that they're behind them in kitchen. Yeah, you see Tobes turn around right here. He knows exactly where they're going to be coming from. Yeah, it just seems that Shenandoah is, is, is just not able to keep up with Akron right now. Akron is completely controlling the tempo of this game. They know exactly where they'll be pushing from. And again, look at the kill feed. Feeds are up two and Tobes with another. And Shenandoah just cannot seem to get anything going right now. All blue, they're really falling off the hill right now.
scratching, trying to get back. Yeah, there, you can send it to it, this old hill. I mean, we look, remember from last week's plane trying to take Gray. Uh, we won 250 to 50, I mean 40 something, and right now we're at 225 to 36. We might set a new personal best on Raid Hardpoint uh, today, Jake. Yeah, I, I believe it's going to be that way. It looks like Akron has finally warmed up and the kill feed's just been blue. Yeah, I mean, they, I think one of us was maybe a little worried about that first break. It seemed that Shannon Noah just had a better break, but ever since then, I mean, it's just looked like Akron's hardpoint. With five seconds on the clock, I don't think Shannon Noah's going to have the time to touch that. And, and with that, Akron says a new personal best. It sounds like we're speed running right now. Uh, <laughs> 236 when Akron picks up map one. There it is. I'm really disappointed we can't see the uh, scoreboard and what everybody went, but it looked like everybody was almost double positive. Yeah. When we were flipping through. Yeah, I'm pretty sure almost everyone was double positive. So, that, uh, yeah, Pete's lose auto mental kill on the Verdi right here. Absolutely disgusting. Uh, and yeah, and, and Jake. I'm not gonna say I'm surprised. I was expecting map one to look just like that. Um, and so because of that, we're gonna head over to a Moscow SND, I believe. Let me check the maps again. Hopefully I'm correct. Yes, yeah, so raid is just their map. I mean, it's hard point. You got Alex is always in the hill. You got Steve is always holding down spawns. Really, if they play that uh, P2 hill better and they get over there earlier, who knows what that score record could have been. Yeah, I, I absolutely, I absolutely agree. But hey, we're hopping into a uh, Moscow S and D. This is the map we lost against WVU. Was it six five? No, I think it was more of a blowout. The Miami S and D went all the way to round eleven, but I think the the Moscow was more favored towards WVU. We saw some pretty unique pushes. I mean, I praised WV last week, WVU last week for their S and D prowess, and also on that map. And so I'm hoping that between now and then, the guys have looked over the VOD, looked at their mistakes, and maybe have a new game plan going into Moscow uh, S and D this week. Yeah, WVU definitely had the strats for search and strike. Couldn't really match Akron on the respawns with the kills. But when it comes to S and D, all you need to do is pick up trades and force one v ones, and you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, you I mean, should see something better from Akron this week. Uh, look for them to play more of as a team and not individually. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you there. I mean, hey, we saw all the mechanical prowess out of Akron right now. I think this. I really do think this S and D the rest of the series isn't going to come come down to who's the better team, but more who has the better gunny, right? Like who's going to have the better shot. And just kind of looking off that hard point, Shenandoah Blue has a lot to do right now to kind of climb back into the series. Yeah, Akron's feeling really good about themselves after going to 250 to 36 for sure. Well, I'm interested to see how they start. Will they take a B and try and throw off Shenandoah? Yeah. No, nope, it's a standard A push. Yeah, I don't really expect Akron to do anything too weird here. Again, we're on offense. I would say this map is maybe a little... I mean, it can go both ways, but yeah, we look at the two players from Shannon Noah hopping over here on the bomb. Tobe's gonna rip off the heck with one guy still back off it, so he's gonna back up. He's hit by the nape, but but he's gonna train him up. Thieves and Tobe's doing a good job playing each other's trades, and this is gonna be an easy bomb down for Akron here. Yeah, full control of the bomb site now. And as you have Thieves pushing through back lobby, uh, he's gonna know that there's gonna be one on the flank there. Alex oh, sneaking around. Yeah, just gonna pick him off in the back, and but did he, yeah, pack watching the flanker. He can rip off the heady though. No toxic rewind. Left in a one v three, still possible. It's a tall, tall mountain to climb. But yeah, the rest of the Akron guys are gonna sit on headies here, and Fiji's gonna rip him right off. First offensive round to Akron. It just took full control of that bomb site. Kills just came in beautifully for Akron. They only had two on that site. It seemed like Shenandoah thought that they might take a B on that first round. Yeah, again, when you're playing, a, you know, in S and D, and you have, you know, you don't really know a team very well, you kind of have to split the map, right? Like, you're not going to stack five A first round, but after that first mm -hmm. round, I think Shenandoah might read them like, hey, like they're playing pretty traditional COD here, and they'll maybe start stacking more. But yeah, Shenandoah looks like they're going to copy and paste our same strat from that first round, and I think Akron has a read on it though, as they send two mid and two A. Yeah, a little interesting coming from uh, Akron sending two through mid. They're going to get control of that piece. Look at that, Thieves picks up problem. one. Oh, he can't pick up the third. Oh, with, oh. The, with the pistol, picks up three. Can he get the corner? Oh, he's oh. in the corner. Oh, he oh. there. Thieves. Teammate didn't let him have it. Three. I like the play from Akron. I love the aggression. He had two players push up the Huskies here. I think that distracted the turn. Oh, no, he just hit it. Thieves just picks up three. Oh, my goodness. He just ran out of ammo. It swaps over and just leaves him off the egg glitch. Thieves 
with a nice 3k to help us pick out that first defensive round. Yeah, I guess might as well push that last guy, right? You already got four guys alive. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't think if he knew he was in the corner, that would have been a beautiful ace right there, but can't win them all. Akron hopping into round three. I expect them to just continue to throw themselves at the A bomb side here. Yeah, no, I, didn't, I mean, you wouldn't expect to know to all stack A on offense that first round. Yeah, it looks like they do have two play mid, though, but it is OG and Hart to play mid. I like this type of play from him to put right. down that Eskies push. Tobes kind of knows this, though, and I think Akron's going to wait for a pick here. They don't have control of Bombsite yet, even though there's only one at A there. I think Fuse might know. Oh, He's sniffing out this player. He has to check his corns, though. He might get caught time here. He does, but doesn't matter. Just snap onto his head and get that first blood. I think Tobes now recognizes that the rest of Shenandoah Blue has played off the A bombsite. This is now going to have to be a retake for Shenandoah Blue. That reaction time from Thieves there. Oh my goodness, didn't have the positioning, but sure did outgun him. Yeah, like, it's like I said in the pregame right there. Like, it's going to come down to the mechanical skills of and Noah Blue. And I just don't think they have it up against Akron right now. Yeah, and Trevor going to be coming out from behind. Is he going to get him before they go to Eskies? No, but he gets the comms, and they're both going to get taken out. A quick 3-0 start for the Akron boys here on Moscow SMD. Looking a lot better than it did last week, that's for sure. Yeah, Shinano isn't really uh, doing anything out of the ordinary. And uh, it's kind of played into the hand of Akron where they can just go for kills. I mean, honestly, if you're Shinano and you're, you know, you kind of know that, hey, maybe we're struggling mechanically here, you guys start pulling some weird strats out here. I mean, seriously, like four hit, you know, four hit something, you know, hit B more often. I don't know. Like, there's so many different ways you can play SND. And again, SND can be that map where you can cheese a team to, to win a map, right? Uh, but right now, yeah. it's just like they're just trying to play like every other CDL and CCL team right now. Yeah, you have to. And if you don't have it mechanically, you need to pull off something strategically. You're going to see it here. They're all going B, and Akron going to be fighting to take back this B position. Yeah, I love the spot from Parks there. Wait, did Akron jump out the window? He did it. But to but thanks Horrible for timing. Good. Yeah, was, that's called timing. It's fine right there. But Akron is about to push. Oh, it's 2v2 now. TD is going to take down the Hearts mid, but Fees is on this flank, though. This is big for him. Bomb is not down. Going to pick him off top statue there, and it's all down to 1v2 on TD. Oh, Fee's not able to pick up the kill. Now it's going to be a cat and mouse race. Yeah, he does have bomb, though. Well, Fee's lost him out, though. He does not win this. Fee's doesn't lose those, though. And Fee's picks up another 3K here on this defensive round for Akron. 4 0, oh, absolutely dominant. I want to see the scoreboard after this. Hopefully. I want to see what Fee's is right now. I, I mean, he at least has six kills going into, the, into round five here. At least we get we saw three. He's ten and zero. Steve is actually ten and zero right now. That's actually disgusting. That may be the best in the CCL. Ten KD hasn't died yet. Hasn't died yet. And that's indeed. Uh, hey, this is for sure a stat game for him. A stat booster for him. So yeah, I'm bored with Thieves here. I want to see how many more you can pick up. Picks up the XM4. You're gonna see him push back bricks here to see if he can get off a head glitch. Oh, well, I'm toxic. Getting some good shots into Thieves. He's gonna off to back out. Rewind. He's gonna take down Pack here. Main advantage for Shannon Noah, but I think Akron knows exactly where Shannon Noah is. And look, look at this setup from Shannon Noah. It's the exact same from Akron, but whoa! Toes picks up two turns on Rewind from back off. He's gonna pick. Oh, oh what my happened goodness! There. What happened there? All Shannon Noah went down in, in like about four seconds. Yeah, that was quick. It looked like they played the same strats as last time, and uh, Trevor was ready for it. Yeah, look at this heads up play from Trevor, knowing that they'd probably be stacked up in office, and just instantly turns to knock down Rewind back office. Last run here for Akron. Can we get the 6-0? I'm expecting it here. Phoebe's still 11-0, has not died on Moscow SND yet. Expecting it here, although Shenanoa is on offense, they could do something out of the ordinary. Absolutely. I mean, look at this bomb right now. Looks like they're going for a mid push here. Yeah, it looks like Shannon knows going to take off. Oh, no, just take it through. Um, Taking it through Eskies up. They're just spreading out. They're not going to be able to get trades by spreading out like this. Well, Hearts shut down that Esky push real quick. Knock I don't know who died. Knocking down Verdi. Look at this. Akron has complete control of the eight bombs. So they completely know that they're not going to be here. Did oh, yeah. OG and Hearts ripping off uh, Maglis there. And with a 2v4 left here for, for Noah, it's not looking bright. Well, Pack getting that long reach on Toxic. It's all left to a 1v4 for T-Deal, but that's not going to happen. Pack picks up another one. And man, Moscow SND lasting a total of maybe three minutes as Akron 6-0 them here on map two. Yeah, 6-0. It almost looked like Akron thought that they could uh, respawn with how aggressive they were playing there. I mean, yeah. I mean, again, 
I like the aggression. I really do. You know, don't give him an opportunity to get any free picks or to get any free map control, right? Just play that aggression. Know you're the better mechanical team and kind of play it from there. But hey, up too well against a best of five. So we win this next control. It's going to be a GG here for us. We're hopping back into raid for our control map. Uh, Jake, I'm expecting a 3-0. I think you are as well. I mean, I mean, Chanel is not doing anything wrong. They don't look lost on the map, but they're doing the correct things. They, they seem to have the right ideas, but executing seems to be the problem for them. Yeah, they're just being outplayed mechanically. They they don't have the uh, ability to kill like Akron does. You see the trades coming in. You see in Shenandoah, they're just playing a part. They need to play together. They I need can... to play for trades. Yeah, I, I completely agree. And going in control, yeah, I mean, like we said last week, it's glorified TDM. And if you're trying to know what that does not sound very heartwarming, right? It doesn't give no. you much hope uh, when you're playing a game mode that is so kill based, um, especially with a team like Akron on raid. Uh, these guys know their spawns. I hope Robert Morris isn't listening right now. If they are, then man, you're you're for sure hearing some stuff right now. You're hearing some strats of ours. But I mean, like I said, raid is just that map for us. I, we don't know why it is. It really just is. And they just spent a lot of time on this map. And so. I'm going to start expecting teams to probably start vetoing this map on us here in the future. But hey, if they, if they want to, you know, it's one of those maps where you want to veto good teams on it, but a lot of teams like playing this map. So why would you veto a map you like? You know what I'm saying, Jake? Yeah, it's it's a nice map. But yeah, the issue does come down to there. There's a lot of teams that are very, very good at that map. Like you can really like catch people off off guard on something like a garrison, something that they haven't been playing for five plus years. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I even think maps like Moscow, right? Like, uh, I think a lot of teams are kind of blacklisting and pushing that map to the side because of how difficult it is with spawns. But again, if you're a team like Shannon Noah, I would look to pick these weird off picks where you can, you know, maybe catch a team off guard. Yeah, but, you need to if you don't have the mechanical skill. But hey, Shannon Noah maybe didn't do their research on Akron knowing how well we played Raid last week. But hey, they're going to have to deal with it now as maps have been set in stone. I think we're just waiting to hop into this Raid control. I don't know who we're waiting on. I see everyone in the lobby. And hopefully we have uh, more than the future with maps, hopefully coming like standoff or express, making their way back into the rotation. You're right, yeah, we did. Uh, express was just added back in another Black Ops 2 map, another fan favorite for all the viewers out there. Um, I, I think in s &D, one of my favorite maps, of course, if everyone remembers the, was it? Oh my god. The Optic Gaming. The op yeah, the yeah, the, gaming the, complexity. The, the Complexity come back. Yeah, down 05, Complexity come back and beats Optic on that map. It's a fun map for sure. Um, don't know if it's a favorite of mine, but it's for sure a good map. Yeah, no, that has never been done again in uh, competitive COD. Even a uh, 1v4 pulled off by, I believe, Crim6 mm. during that map. Raid control. Hopping into Dish. Raid. I yeah, want to see the, the nuke. The Nick, I mean, hey, I'm again, I'm looking to a guy like Phoebes. I think he probably went 11 0, 12 0 in that last series. So I'm expecting the same type of performance here, uh, out of him. I'm just worried, I'm just worried that there's not going to be enough kills to go around. Yeah, to honestly, to yeah, there's only 30 kills allowed in a, in a in one round of control here. Of course, it's the first of three wins. So, I mean, Akron could throw a couple rounds, but if they do that, you know, I'm for sure going to join their team chat for this and give them a good yelling. You know, I don't, that's not how. Now, how we play COD. Yeah, map count. Do the rounds matter for the placing of uh, the CCL? It does not. So, maps count. So, so going three Just and two, maps. but okay. yeah. So, losing a S and D six to three shouldn't matter. Maybe it does if it comes all the way down to the wire. Maybe it does, honestly. I haven't looked into that, uh, but it looks like our lobby just broke, though, which is not very good. Charlie, do you know anything? Yeah, it looks like the lobby broke. As we kind of wait to hop in here, man, we love in COD tonight, Jake, a lot of technical difficulties, but don't worry. We still got another best of five series against Robert Morris University up next. Again, another undefeated team. Uh, with well, Shannon Blue is not undefeated, but Akron currently undefeated. Because this rate control will be 3-0. Robert Morris is also 3-0. So this next series coming up next should be, uh, a pretty, should be a banger, Jake. Yeah, and I'm kind of worried that with how Akron is playing Shenanoa, they might not be ready for Robert Morris. What do you might mean be a little more technical, a little more strategy. Because right yeah. now, they're just playing TDM. They're just running over. Uh, yeah, that's true. Hey, maybe it's a good warm-up for the guys. Maybe it's going to bite them in the butt. Maybe they're going to be under, you know, just not, you know, not completely warmed up. 
playing this team, but I, I don't think I'm too worried about it. I mean, I don't know. I, I think they're playing checkmate a lot tonight, which is a good playing checkmate and raid tonight. So again, checkmate, one of my favorite maps. Again, we did lose it by that one point against the WVU last week, which is pretty heartbreaking, but um, I, I do expect it to be uh, a, a closer series, but again, one that we will win. Charlie, I see an invite for you on your hopefully game. There we go. Looks like everyone's right. in here. Chat, we appreciate you guys all being so patient with us tonight. Yes, this shouldn't, shouldn't happen again. Hopefully it won't. We just need Wilson. Charlie got moved to Codcaster. A good sign. We'll sit there and start the map and change it. Oh, but yeah, on, Jake, you joined the, the CDL so far. You're talking about the Dallas Empire. You said that they smoked the team this week. They did. I can't remember what the team was. It was a 3-0. That's, they smoked them. Smoked them. I know. I was watching the 100 Thieves Minnesota Rocker game this week. Uh, that was today, and Hundred Thieves is looking pretty good. I mean, I'm happy that Nate, I'm happy Hundred Thieves is back into the the CDL. Um, it's a team that deserves a spot for sure, especially with a guy like Nate Shot owning the team. Um, but yeah, the LA Thieves branding is pretty clean. I'm not going to be a, a LA Thieves fan because I don't I don't know I don't like being a uh, bandwagon fan for sure. I'll support like the underdogs, like Seattle Surge. Like why not, right? Like I don't know. I think Percy is a cool guy, but I don't know. The LA Octane Thieves, as well. Octane, yeah. I mean, he's he's a he's a Twitter god, man. Always got that good content <laughs> on Twitter. But hey, we can stop burning time now as we hop into the last map. Raid control, Akron up 2-0 against Shenandoah Blue. This should be lights out for Akron here. Yeah, we're just playing TDM here. Uh, looks like it's going to be a split from... No, Akron's going to B first. I like mid. this play. But Malgus is going to rip off pack here. But Akron should be able to kind of up a good two piece from Tobes and look at that all these blue dots they're so again in control it's kind of like king of the hill the more people you have on the point the faster it can once that point that, that point is captured you get more time on the clock and you have to then go take either of uh, the opposite objective whether it's a or b but yeah look at akron all swarming this pool side right now uh, to hopefully get this locked up here real quickly i already got the first tick about to get the second uh, and if Shannon is going to do something, they need to do it now. Nope, he's got the second. Going to be jumping out of money now. All blue in the kill feed. All that's a full team wipe. All four going to be spawning out here back laundry. And now Akron is looking for A as well now. Yeah, look at that heads up play from Hearts. The four go down. He instantly pushes back elbow there and looks towards laundry because he knows they're all going to spawn there. But Akron getting that first control plan quickly. Going to add another minute to the clock here. All Akron needs to do, look for another teammate. Look at these red dots from Shenandoah. They are all stacked on this side of the map, knowing that Akron has to push them to them. Uh, and so, oh, another good two down for Shenandoah here. They may take the, the tempo this game back here. Yeah, but they're all spread out. And they know that Akron can really hit them from any direction at this moment, as they have complete map control. Well, Tobes accidentally pre pre fired there, but wow. look at the read from him to the guy was gonna come up and challenge him. Oh, and he killed this guy up here. T deal. Oh my That's gosh, Tobes turning on him there with that stick from the Semtech. And look at the spawn trap from Tobes. And I think, oh yeah, Hart's gonna be at the point here. And that push from Tobes can completely throw off Shannon the blue and make him start scrambling to get onto this A, this A control point. Three on the point, and now all three from Shannon are gonna be coming through pillars and art. Yeah, that was and... a good play from Verdi there. He, I don't think Alex or whoever was on point with it. Oh my gosh, Hart's ripping off Verdi at the head glitch there. The guy top art was causing some trouble. So Tobes also picked up Alex in, in the flank there. Uh, Fee's gonna pick up T deal, and yeah, with that, look at the red dots. They're all spawning back there. Cool. And Akron, yeah, he's gonna take this, this oh, first control. The point. Yeah. There this it first is. From yeah, Akron. No, way. no way for Shenanoa to get back to the point there after going four down. Look at Molson going in, you know, that, going that, uh, the A control point after Akron took D there. It looked like they had a pretty good setup, but you, you saw Tobes kind of just harass their backline there and, you know, make them spawn out and make them start scrambling towards that point. So, you know, a lot of teams, when they see someone start capping the point, they, they stop focusing about the players on the map and they just become tunnel vision on that site. They do. They really pigeonhole and they don't realize that somebody could be in their spawn creating havoc. And we're going to see the same thing out of Shenandoah. Going to be offering for a B push here instead of uh, the traditional A. Yeah, it looks like maybe Shenandoah is just trying to copy paste their strats since it works for us. I don't know. It's three down though for for Shenandoah. We see 
T deal, but look at this spawn push up from Tibbs. I love this play from him. You know, knowing that, you know, in control, you can't spawn out across the map. So, again, control is a great way to, to spawn trap players in the eyes. Come right up behind uh, Malgus here. And, he, you know, you know he's raging the comp right now. Yeah, and you know you, all it is is kills. It's TDM. So if you can pick him off a spawn, that's just closer and closer to that victory. Yeah, just look at Tobes in the map. He's still, he's still sitting in Zig, just messing them back in their spawn. I mean, yeah, they can't get, they can't break out a pool here. Yeah, all you got to do is stay alive. Get kills and stay alive. I like this play from Pac. They're not, sta all of Akron is stacking on the one one site here. Pac going to be the lone, the lone survivor at A. Fee's going to pick up two. And Shannon and Noah, don't, with only th 30 seconds left on the clock, they got to make something happen here. Yeah, you got to push for an objective so you can get that extra minute and a half. Otherwise, it's game over. Yeah, it looks like they might opt to go A here. I don't know. It just seems like Shannon can't pick up a kill. Fee's going to pick up another. I don't know what trick he's on right now, but it's something. It, Tobes has just been sitting Zig this entire game. Chan, no, the, the lone two survivors on on this A side. One. Can he pick up the other, though? Three. Oh, can he do it? He can. Plays out the pistol. Fee's going to get the trail on the Toxic. Hard's going to join the... Oh, Verdi gets a two-piece of that pistol, actually. Tobes up here, top art. They take off two. He can. Gonna get traded by Malgus. And Chan Noah having some life during the final seconds of this uh, race control. Yeah, it was huge from, I believe that was Malgus who just stayed alive on the hill. You see the clock stops whenever the team is capturing the hill. That's huge. And allow yeah. your teammates to like, come back up and support yeah. you. Yeah, Chan Noah with no time left. He's got to throw their bodies out of this hill, but they're Akron gonna run the clock down. Akron killing it up quickly 2 0 uh, here. Akron gonna be on offense for this, hopefully, this last round of raid control. Again, it, it, I think it's, you know, it hasn't even come down to kills yet. Uh, it hasn't, no. you know, you know, it's come down to the timer. That you know, the first round, Akron just caps two both points quickly enough. The second round here, Akron just shuts them out. You know, you only have I think a minute and thirty on the clock to capture a point, and Akron just you know keeps them off the point for that long. Yeah, the only way you can really play the TDM in control is if you do get that first cap, because then that'll extend the timer two, three minutes. If it's just a minute and a half, though, uh, that is impossible to kill a team thirty times. Yeah. Looks like Akron kind of has a slow push here. Looking for these kills mid map. T Dill gonna pick off pack. And Hart's playing a slow push here near White Van. Akron, yeah, all these red, yeah, look at all these red, all these blue dots. Akron to opt to hopefully take a ring here for this for this first control point. Alex isn't gonna see anything. The laundry gets picked up from tree. Two and Art. Alex is gonna be alone, but stay, stays alive. He's gonna get taken down now. Akron gonna be looking for a B push as Shenandoah has all of A. I love this heads up play from Pac. They all get wiped on A, which is not great, but they instantly turn it to a B push to hopefully try to get a tick. But they know that all of Shenandoah has to rotate from somewhere. But man, Pac's getting unlucky. Now look at these kills from Shenandoah. I'm impressed right now. They're kind of heating up right now in this, you know, this final round. The AR would have expected Pac to get a couple more kills there coming through pillars. Would have thought they'd rotate through mid map, try to get the sneak on after and coming behind them. Yeah, I think they, they knew that they had, they had time to, to use there. But guess what? Hart's going to pick up. Oh, the impact is the last. That's four down. Akron should be stacking this hill right now. As it, Yeah, they're going to head over to this A. And yeah, Shannon Noah going to chalk that and really start moving over to the, to the B control point. Yeah, if you're going to see the last tick coming here now, now Shannon Noah is going to look for picks in mid. Now Akron's going to be able to come from behind. Oh, but his team's going to see him. He picks him up. Yeah, at this point, it's a spawn trap game. I mean, Akron, you know, these lives are pretty close right now, but Akron's looking for a four down here, hopefully, and stack onto this hill. He's going to be causing havoc. You look at number one on the mini map right now. Sitting back to jungle. Going to pick up another. They cannot kill him out of here right now. Look, look at these spawns. He knows that they're spawning back back laundry right now. So he's going to keep spawn trapping them there. It's another for him. He's on a seven streak right now. That, can he make it eight? Can he make it ten? He dies. Phoebs cannot be killed back jungle right now. Man, oh man, yeah, when you got your teammates on B and he's sitting blocking the spawns back kitchen, there's only one place they can spawn, and that's back laundry. And Pack is looking to do the same thing here. I mean, even after Fees picks up, I don't know, it seemed like the entire team of Shenanoah, Verdi from Shenanoah Blue t takes down two on the site, and Shenanoah is still in this. They are, but it's going to be five respawns to 15, and we still have a minute to go. Can they last? Yeah, no respawns now. Yeah, that's a good point. Two, two respawns left. Akron up 13 lives on them. I mean, at this point, I mean, yeah, Shenoa cannot tie anymore. No, it, it's over. And a GG there. Akron making a swift series out of Shenanoah Blue.
GG to them, 250 to 36 on the hard one, 6 0 on the SND in a quick 3 0 auto in the control. Akron is firing on all cylinders right now. Yeah, huge 3 0 there in control. I, we already knew how it was going to go on the offense, on the attacking side. But what I was really happy to see was the defense, how we played defense, the strategy when we were playing defense. Yeah, for sure. Again, this issue I know is B team. So, you know, a rough start for them as they start 0 4. Akron now 3 0. Uh, I don't think there's too much to break down from that series just besides the fact that Akron's looking good. Uh, you know, against teams like this, we're not really making any mistakes. It really seems like seems like pitch perfect Call of Duty to me. Um, but again, into this next series against Robert Morris, they are 3 0. So, any of you in chat looking to leave, don't do that because this next series should be uh, a little bit closer than that. Um, and so, guys, we're going to take it to a quick break as we get into this next lobby. Um, if you want to go anywhere, just mute the stream. We'll be back here in about maybe five to ten minutes. Uh, but join us here quickly uh, as we'll play Robert Morris University here in about 10, 15 minutes.
You're gonna be okay, kid.
Welcome back, everybody, to Zips Esports CCL Week 2. We just came off a 3-0 win versus Shenandoah Blue, and we're hopping into our second match of the night against Robert Morris University. They are currently 3-0, but hey, we're also 3-0 as well, so this should be a pretty good matchup. Um, we have not played them before, and I actually don't know any of these guys on Robert Morris, so I don't know what to expect. Maybe they had an easy first three games. Maybe they had a tough schedule. I'm not sure what to expect. What I do expect, though, is an Akron win. Jake, what are your predictions going into this RMU game? Um, I'm expecting a 3-0 win from Akron here. Uh, they they really touched up on their hard point this week. We know they're already good at control, and I expect them to play together as a team on S and D. Yeah, and hey, we're welcome back, chat. I know we had a long break. We appreciate you being patient with us. But hey, we're already hopping in the game. We're not going to raid though. We're hopping to checkmate another fan favorite of the Akron boys. We did lose this map last time to get to WVU, but hopefully we're gonna flip the script this week and win it this time. Checkmate a lot of AR angles here. Look into guys like Phoebes here with an XM4 and also guys like Pack to hold it down with the Krig, maybe XM4 to get those spawns. And here we go. Hopping into checkmate, hard point, Akron versus RMU. Probably more ARs, XM4s as well. We saw uh, FaZe Clan actually run four XM4s on this map. I would believe it. And hey, look at that kill fleet. Already starting off well for Akron. Pack about that first blood. Can we get the trade though? Crayon, I think it's the way you pronounce it. Gonna get that trade. And again, this P1 hill is super scrappy, but Tobes gonna get pick up that two piece. Can he pick up the 30? Can Tobes already with three? And help, helping Akron lock down this top lane still. All blue, you got Thieves and Pack just holding down spawns. They're not going to be able to get around those two guys with both set up with ARs on headies. And the kills continue to come in for Alex and Tobes in the plane. Yeah. yeah, this first two is super annoying for both sides since they can hide behind walls. You see, with that X ray on right now, a lot of these guys is hiding behind the walls, having to hopefully go for wall bang. So, you know, that P1 hill, not really a money hill, but look at these blue dots from Akron. We thankfully had good spawns going into the going into this map is so we're going to opt to hold this side of the map and get ready for p2 you can see akron holding on the mid map here hop on to number six here he's gonna be watching this cross here to yellow yeah now you see akron start to rotate a little bit more towards the hill they only had one today that was packed sitting on the hill but you don't see robert morris trying to push in you just see him sitting there waiting yeah. for a couple kills to come in yeah, Robert Morris needs to take their time here, look for a good team push, because then this is a big money hill for the side of Akron. Crayon gonna get the trail on the toes. It looks like a lot of contention to go back forward. Crayon picks up two. Uh, is that, I can't read that name, Meat Donkey, what a weird name that is, but hey, I'll let him rock. Gets the third, and what looked like a good Akron hold, RMU breaks it real quickly. Yeah, you had two from Akron spawn all the way out, and RMU's gonna steal the spawns right from under their noses. Huge for them to block the spawns, not pushing just yet, but pushing as a team. Absolutely. Hopping over to P3. Again, it's going to be a scrappy one. A lot of back and forth as this this bottom of this plane is so open from both sides. It's pretty hard to really get a full 60 here. But Akron getting these first initial kills. Of course, they know where they're coming from, coming off P2. But I like these spots from Akron. Hold down some power positions here. Pack sitting in these popular crates with this Krig. Going to hopefully rip some kids off. But it is taken down, though, by Donkey. Yeah, very hard spot from uh, back there. It doesn't really have much cover. Just needs to rely on his gun skill and reaction time. Uh, but we're going to have some huge kills from Akron here. Can he stay alive? No, he cannot. RMU is going to have full control of the hill and going to be able to get set up here. Yeah, Akron looking to have good setups, especially going through the hills. P2, P3, Akron looks real set up, but there's three down there. But it looks like RMU is doing a really good job of breaking these hills. Yeah, it's so close right now. Now, and it's coming down to one kill on either side just to hold the hill. Yeah, and so we, we get ready for P4 here. It looked like RMU got the best of us here in these last two hills. Toe's picking up two there, but you see those blue dots already moving over to you. P3. If he's going to pick off your, your, bo your boy Pug. I mean, Jake, what are these names from RMU right now? Um, right now, RMU is control of top plane, although Akron did kind of have control of A Street. The kills did come in for RMU. Tope's going to create a little bit of problems here. All RMU just does have control, but Akron looking to get control of top lane. Look yeah. for a break here. I mean, RMU really is doing a great job of breaking these hills, really stopping Akron from setting up very well. But it is going back and forth. You really need to see Akron start to string these hills together because, again, hard point, one of those games that can get out of control. And if you're down too much, RMU has all the freedom uh, just kind of play how they want to. Again, who, who's dictating the pace of this game? And right now, it seems like it's RMU. 
Yeah, all it takes is one hill to get back into it. And it looks like Akron is going to rotate and get set up for this P5. Very important that you set up early for this one. Yeah, it, to me, it just seems like Akron's a, maybe a little confused on where to look right now. And I don't think it's the gun skill of either team that's, you know, overbearing, but this is where they're looking at who's getting what crosses. And yeah, look at that. Uh, C's uh, in the back, just sticking off Tobes. And, you know, thankfully, number five and seven on the map are still alive back here. These are big kills, but man, RMU is not letting Akron breathe right now on these spawns. No, you saw that one player from RMU get back behind Graffiti and Akron looking for him, but not able to get him out of there, and he's going to be able to hold the spawns down for RMU. I mean, Akron can hold from the front here. They get the two picks on the, the third pick onto the hill here, and they know that they're going to spawn back cardboard, or, you know, back. Uh, I guess you could do call that cardboard. Spawning back there. And so Akron can hold from the front here. Tobes going to jump over the crate here and pick off Crayon. They get the second, though. Going to rip off C's. And Akron get three down here, but no one's in the hill, though. There we go. Yeah, obviously not favorable spawns, but like we talked about before, the killing power of Akron, you, if you are able to do that, you can manage to control the hill from the front. Yeah, and we're hopping back to another P1 hill top plane. Again, one of those hills that you're going to see probably Hart just sit here in his little cubby area and just throw out a trophy and play his life. You can get wallbing, though, so you got you to be careful of that. But again, all this time on this hill is all looking towards that, next, that, that P2 hill. Yeah, you got to be really careful here, get trades, and then after doing that, make sure you push out. We're going to see who is that. Thieves. Thieves is working on spawns here. I like this power Gets play. Gets taken out, but oh, RMU so focused on uh, the rotation from Akron that they weren't able to play top lane, and Akron was able to rip off 10 seconds. Yeah, look at these spawns from Akron. They're still spawning across the map, and even though Akron's getting some time, all RMU has to do is continue to contest this hill and get ready for the next. It looks like Akron isn't doing an incredible job of really breaking these hills efficiently, especially with a lot of time left. We saw that last hill was pretty good, but I mean, R RMU is, you know, again, it's a 15 point game. It's close, but I'm a little worried for Akron hopping in this next hill. Yeah, this next hill is going to be very important, but we know if they can pick up on what RMU did on the first hill or the first time we came here to P2, they can do that as well, especially with the kill power that they have. I uh, love to see Akron slow it down here. Look for these initial picks. They get the first on the crayon. He might spawn out though. No, he does spawn in the back. You see it on the mini map. They're gonna spawn in the back. This is a big play from Thieves here. And he's not gonna die. Kill. He does. That's three. They get the four. Sees inside yellow crate. Can he get him packed? Gives it the kill. That's four down. Look on the mini map right now. All will be spawning near that P4 side of the hill, and Akron knows it. Really stole all the spawns there from him. That was huge. And they came so quick that they Akron was even able to get set up to hold them out from the next push. Yeah, Akron just needs to watch these crosses here, but two go down, all on the pack and toes that's leaving the hill. A pack and hearts in the hill. I like this power with two for pack. This is big. As I don't know if I think Hearts knows he's behind him right now. He needs to stay alive and look at the spawns though from, from RMU. They're getting those close spawns. Oh my gosh, Pack was shooting a dead body. I don't think he I thought he shoots a dead body. He, yeah, he thought he was laying down, but it's okay. Akron's still pretty tight here going to this next hill. Yeah, it's okay. You just need to control the top plane for this next hill as players can drop down you, so not getting set up for this one isn't too big of a deal. Pack playing this power position here, top wing. I don't think he knows it on the point, though. He's going to drop down and get a good flank on him. Yeah, I like this play from him. Can't get the second, though. He cannot. Pug going to pick him up. Thieves hopping into this hill here pretty quickly. Uh, again, we're, we're just looking for back and forth gunfights here. The big thing is you just don't want to give either team a lot of time here. Oh, Thieves kind of breaking the ankles there. Of Thieves there, and OG and Hearts picking up mid. This is good control for Akron. He is. Fuse is still alive down there. He, he's not sure what to do. He knows where the players are spawning, though. Yeah, look, oh my gosh. Okay, there was, a, was a team kill, though, but it looks like Akron still has the hill. Another 30, another 30 seconds on this hill. This is good money for, for Akron. We're, we're about to be tied in this game. Love this link from Toad. It's going to be a split. Akron's going to recognize it. Three kills, all blue in the, in the kill feed. Yeah, One more. Toad is going to pick him up. Yeah, Akron is starting to string this together a little bit here. I love, I love this kill feed really is doing well. Look at the trade from Akron. They're constantly sliding back and forth, calling each other out here, and, and really not seeing a lot of team wipes here for Akron as they're trading super well. Yeah, now they're already set up for A Street with uh, how they've done killing wise, and you got two going up for control of top plane. It's going to be hard for RMU to contest this hill. Yeah, top plane, super important all across the map here. As you saw, as uh, two members of Akron look for that early control. Oh, can oh my gosh, Pack punches Pug and gets the, the drop shot on massive play for him. Tobes going to pick all Crayon possibly, but spawns are looking all over the place right now. Yeah, normally you're looking for a shot and punch. There was a punch and sh shot. Yeah. 
Tobes, this, you know, this so Hill, a lot of ARs holding down these alleys here. Contession comes in from RNU, but again, Akron still at 40 points as we get, you know, all eyes are set on this cardboard hill here. And I think this is where Akron might kind of win. Again, this is a, this is winnable uh, territory right here going to this next hill. Here you go, just stay alive. Oh, or get the kill and you got another eight seconds. They, they're going to be able to win on this next hill if they can hold spawns. Look at the plane There's... control. Hearts and Phoebes are both top plane. I love this play from them, knowing that these, these, are much, these are massive power positions for them to hold these spots. But there is a weird spawn. It looked like RMU is all the way back there. Nope, Tobes claims it up. So that's going to be spawns in the hill for Akron. Yeah, Akron is winning these 1v1s right now, and they're getting these trades. And what we'll like a solid kind of a start to RMU, it is falling apart for them right now. Oh my goodness, oh Hearts with this 74. Yeah, Hearts is heating up right now. Again, usually our OBJ player, but you know, a minute. Look, look at all of Akron, though. All of them putting in time in the store right now, with, with, with three of them with a minute and 30 in Hill. Oh my gosh, Hearts still going. going. Hearts with a 5 so you can't get the signal behind him. He can't pick it up, but guess what? After he's two seconds on the clock, points. and they're gonna pick up the checkmate hard point, 250 to 155. Domino in there. Uh, really, after that P2, we saw that P2 big for RMU, but after that, it looked like it was all accurate. Yeah, I mean, a good a good start from from RMU. I mean, that game we were tied going into the second rotation of, of top plane there. But, you know, like you said, near the end of that second hill, Akron, it, it, no, it's actually, it was a start of the second rotation of P3 under playing, where Akron really started to string those kills together. Yeah, course, yeah. Akron just seemed like the, like the turn the knob up to like 10 instead of like 7. They started trading everything. The kill fee was better. Every time we hopped onto someone, Akron was winning their 1v1 gunfights, and then they just string 3, 4, and 5 together, and it's, and it's GG, right? So uh, I love Akron to start turning up there at the end. Again, RMU is put on the pressure, though. They're not giving this for free, but... I'm looking forward to Akron to keep that intensity of popping into this next SND, which should be on Raid, which we haven't seen Raid, yet. We have, not seen, we have not seen Raid SND though out Raid of SND. Akron. We have not seen it. So, I mean, Jake, no, hopping, but... into Raid, hopping into Raid SND, what are you looking for? I'm not used to playing Raid SND, I guess, personally. When you're playing it or like, you know, watching the pros play or even in the CCL, what seems to be the norm here on Raid SD? The norm is to go to that A bomb site where you have art and laundry. It's going to be a big fight between the ARs as well as in mid. You're going to normally have one or two players go mid, and then the other two are going to go to either laundry or art, depending on what side you are, and trying to get control of that statue. Hmm. Well, I mean, again, it seems like both teams are pretty mechanically balanced here. It doesn't seem like really one team's better than the other. Of course, near the end there, Akron started to heat up. I don't, I don't think RMU is out of this fight whatsoever. It looks Again, both these teams are 3-0 and right now. Akron getting the better of RMU in the checkmate. Um, and so looking for this Ray SND, hopefully we can go up on 2-0. Well. Again, we might have another game 5 round 11 like we did last week, Jake. I mean, who knows? Uh, I don't think so this time. It looked like... Uh... Akron's really starting to feel out RMU. They got him there in the beginning of that hard point, but after a while, it just became a little bit too predictable, and Akron was able to pick up on it. Absolutely. I mean, we can see RMU. Don't know many of these players. Maybe they have some S and D stars. But again, we got we have some S and D stars of ourselves. I know Phoebes, Phoebes and Tobes play a lot of wagers together, um, and so uh, neither team should be uneven here. I think we'll be hopping to Team One Charlie, so you might have to switch it on the in the Codcaster Akron to Team One, depending. No, no, we're team two. Yeah, we'll be team two. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I'm liking Akron so far. I mean, Jake, we might have a 4-0 start to the CCL this year, which would be, uh, I think, a pretty good morale boost for the boys. Yeah, that would be huge. And the only one, the only other that would be 4-0 is Ohio State, correct? I can't say for Tied sure on Ohio that. State. That could be true, though. I know that Liberty Row is the other team we worried about in our specific division, but Liberty Row lost to Ohio State. So if we beat RMU right now, that would make us 4-0 with Ohio State. So I think you're right. We would be number two in the division then if we beat. Don't quote me on that, but I'm almost positive we would be number two if we beat RMU tonight. Yeah, that'd be a huge confidence booster uh, to just completely take on, take down everyone in your division. Yeah, and thankfully, we're hopping into Reyes and D here. Akron up 1-0, hopping into this series. You know, again, players to look out for. Fees, I you know, again, he's just... 
mechanically just outclasses a lot of people. He has that cracked out aim that you like to see in a lot of, you know, especially guys like Illy uh, and Huke are guys I think of when it comes to that cracked out aim. Uh, and he just has it. You know, it, it is something that you can learn, but sometimes it's just something natural. Um, so I'm really looking forward to him on this SD. I mean, again, in that last year's against uh, Shenanoa Blue, he was 11 to no. Um, and so I'm expecting the same numbers out of him coming in this raid hard point. I mean, the raid SD. Raid SD, yeah. And it's very interesting dynamic without the snipers. It kind of takes away that part of the game. Absolutely. Sort of disconnected. We yeah, lost, well, lost connection to host. We love online Call of Duty chat. Um, we apologize about that. It's not on our end. Hopefully, we'll get right back into it here in a second. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what we can talk about Raid S and D without just rambling <laughs> on, you know. So I don't want to do that. Uh, hopefully, everyone in chat again. We appreciate you tuning in. Um, if you want to keep up to date with more Zip Sports, want to keep up to date with our Call of Duty team and even our other teams, you know, Call of Duty is a club team here in Akron. We have seven different varsity teams all on scholarship. And so if you want to keep up to date, all things Zip Sports, you can go follow us on Twitter at Zip Sports. You can follow our Twitch channel, which we stream every Tuesday and Thursday around 7 or 8 p.m., depending on the game, um, whether it's Overwatch, League of Legends, Call of Duty, Hearthstone, Rainbow Six Siege, a lot going on here on the Zips channel. Um, so make sure you follow us on there. Again, thank you to all of our sponsors that are linked below in the description. Help make this program happen. Again, if you want to try out for our varsity team uh, here at Akron, whether you're in high school or you're currently in college looking to maybe transfer, Akron does have scholarships available for varsity players. If you want to learn more about that, you can go to uakron.edu forward slash varsity or you can go to uakron.edu forward slash esports. Those links are also down in our Twitch description below to learn more about our program and maybe apply for a varsity team. So I wish Kyle was a varsity team. Maybe someday it will be Jake. You know, you could have had a scholarship while you were here at Akron. Could have. That's all right, though. We got enough uh, scholarships through Akron for uh, academics. And finally, here we go. Rate us and D. Hopefully this time. Yeah, hopefully this time we don't lose a connection to host. But our, yeah, we're, we're in the game. Thankfully, Akron versus RMU going to that map too. Akron up 1-0. Raid, Search and Destroy. We'll hop it on board with Tobes. Akron on defense. We'll see how Army wants to play their first offensive round. Yeah, this is the first time that Akron has actually played this in the CCL. And like I said, Army is going to be running up towards B, and we're only going to have one from Akron back there. I like this way from Hearts. He recognizes that pool's completely open, and so he's going to opt to push up steps here to get some get some like info. And yeah, Akron's going to know. Look at 8 and 7. They're going to instantly rotate over. I like this long fl flank from OG and Hearts, though, on the mini map. Don't hop on board with him, but I want to stay on board with these guys. But OG and Hearts might be the nail in the coffin, but number three, Crayon, is watching this flank. Actually, hop over to Hearts real quick here. This is going to be a big gunfight. Just, he's going to turn, actually. Oh, my gosh, they don't oh, know. Go they don't know. That's going to be big. Glass. Yeah, he's going to break the glass, but... I that's it's the okay. first kill for a Yeah, we can hop on board with Thieves here on the mid-map here. It's going to have to probably get into a gunfight. Look at that snapper from Thieves getting the headshot on the crayon. That's two down for Akron. And yeah, I think they both, I think Akron knows that the rest of RMU is stuck here around ring. Yeah, it looks like uh, Akron's running two and two, just playing 2v1 uh, two different times. RMU's going to have to look to pick up a kill in order to get back in this thing. I love that play from Tope. He just jumps across there from Zig to kind of check into Art. Sees the player instantly backs out since they're on defense. No need to throw your life away. RMU has to plant. And with 10 seconds left, Seas is going to have to just go for this bomb here. Look at this play. Yeah, play horrible attack. timing. He knows it. And less like that, RMU doesn't even get a kill on the first round of SND. Just great stuff from Akron. Every, everything about that round was good. We saw OG and Hearts push pool side. There's nothing there. He pushes up the pool steps, recognizes that mid map's open basically besides that one guy zig, and like they, they sent out the A push instantly. And then it's just waiting out RMU. You never, you know, besides you know Hearts pushing behind them there, Akron just was waiting for them to push on the bomb site. And near the end, like Pack just has to go top laundry, check the bomb at five seconds. And it's an easy round for Akron. Yeah, that was very interesting. That. Uh that setup you had all of RMU went B and they were kind of confused and surprised that there is nobody from Akron there to meet him. Yep, I like this quick play from B though. Looks like there's two members from RMU going to be holding this down though. One in Tiki, one top money. Looking towards our ARs to get these picks. I think Pack and, yeah, they're going to call out Pug inside Tiki here. If he's smart, he will back out. Hart's going to pick him up. Pack on the flank though. Crayon's going to pick him up. They got a turn for this guy. Thieves and Crayon in the back here. Who's going to pick up the kill? Good heads up play from Thieves to pick off Crayon on the flank. On the flank. And man advantage for Akron here. 
Bomb is going down as well. Down. Yeah, bomb's going down here. Going to be, have to be a, a retake here. We'll stay on board. OG and Hart's going to play the corner. Tobes. Oh, that, that, that spot from... Is it is it Donkey? I don't know how to pronounce it. I guess it's Donkey, but... Me Donkey. Don me donkey. Me donkey. Yeah, me Donkey. But yeah, look at this play from them. Water steps. Yeah, Akron just playing smart, not peeking at anything. They know Army has to defuse this. So Akron's just going to hug corners and let Army make the push. And they know exactly where they're at. They know one's mid steps and they know one was top money. Ooh, bad but timing for Hart there. Got bomb down. But look at the bomb plant though. Look where it's planted for. It's planted just for thieves here. All I have to do is jiggle peek this. Oh, he does get ripped off. Oh my gosh, all down the Tobes. He needs to kill him off the bomb here. Don't worry about the kill. He's gonna get it. And Tobes he picks off both. And man, that round was, looked perfect for Akron. And the, the setup was great. And they threw it away there all in the last 10 seconds. And Arm, you could have taken this round if Tobes doesn't get this two piece right here. Yeah, it was huge kills from RMU, and Tobes able to save the day. Just barely making it in time with that seven and a half second defuse time. Good play from, from Akron here. Up 2-0, hopping into another defensive round here. We'll opt to see if RMU maybe switches up the play. Maybe they opt to play a little bit quicker here. It looks like three members are pushing mid-map here. Stay on boards with Thieves. And they pick up one, he can't. I think he saw the other member hop down the, the pit there. Pack going to pick he off did. another. Pack picks off two near pool side, and they know those last guys mid. Hop on board with Pack. He's going to come mid. He's going to kill him. He's going to get the trade, though. And they do. And wow, a quick round win here for Akron. Very. You know, we I, we talked about it last uh, time RMU was on offense. Akron setting up for A, and this time, man, RMU just walks straight into Akron, don't they? Yeah, I mean, I think our, it's like RMU's listening to me. They play a really slow first offensive round. Going to that one, they just just hold down their sprints and just run into mid map. And Pack picks off two pool side, and Thieves just shuts down the mid push. And I don't think they expected Akron to be holding those sides. I don't know what they, what they were thinking Akron was going to be doing, but RMU not looking too hot there on offense. No, and I guess the uh, the normal the normal B push here. Yeah, normal B push. Got control. Pack getting the second, another first blood. It's two for him. This S and D alone. Those first bloods are super important here in S and D. Give him that man advantage. Pack is going to hold down top, top laundry there. Hearts looking for their pick, and, and Akron need to clear the back of their spawn before they can plant this bomb, though. Yeah, you see, RMU does have control of RMU, although Pug is going to give it up to go reinforce laundry. Hearts and another one hit. down. That's huge from Hearts. They should be able to get bombed down now. Yeah, it looks like number one and number four on the map. Oh, look at this kill from Tobes. Can it, oh, Seas, good spot from him. He could turn and kill him off bomb here, though. Seas is going to be a nail in the side of Akron if they cannot kill him here. As they know they know that Pug is back at their spawn, but they also know Seas is mid. So I'm off to see where Akron... Akron can't even plant right now. They're too worried about where they're going to get hit from. Yeah, They are. They need to just get bombed down. I like this spot from Pack. Pack going to be able to... Oh, he hears yeah. him, though. Can he get this kill, though? Oh my gosh, no! Season a turn on him. And it's a 2v2 for Akron. Bomb going down, though, from Hearts. Yeah, Season's gonna run away with his life, and it's gonna let Akron get the bomb down. I don't know the spot is from OGN. Wow, what a spot from him. He's gonna pick off Pug and a run to ring. He's gonna know he's top art. This should be a kill for, uh, I think, Pack. Oh no, Thieves. And ooh, around that looks too good for Akron. They're up four to, in a 4v2. Akron seeming to kind of throw away these leads here, Jake. Um, a little bit, but like you said, that spot from Hearts, what that actually is, is he knows that he's got an enemy in mid and an enemy in art, as he's got his teammate Thieves all the way in laundry. So now he's only got to look one direction, and if he needs to escape, he can just run through pillars. And Jake, what I expected to be a lot closer to S&D is a complete blowout from Akin right now. A 4-0, hopping into another round of defense. I mean, RMU's got to figure out something here, here on Ray, on Ray Search and Destroy. Look at the spot from Tobes. They instantly. need this round. This is huge. Yeah, Tobes, that spot back, sitting back. Laundry going to infinitely set. Oh, look at the spot from Thieves. He's so pushed up. Oh, but Seas going to rip him off, though. That was a massive spot from Thieves to hopefully get the map control ring. The 74 versus the XM4. The 74 is going to win that most of the time. Yeah, you see the trade from Tobes, though. 3v3. And yeah, RMU going to kind of play it slow here. Look for some picks. Akron, look at number 67, though. I don't know what the rest of these Akron guys are expecting. Um, as I think Tobe saw all of them push ring here, but maybe I'm, I'm incorrect again. We have x ray on, they don't, so Akron gonna have to kind of take recontrol here. But bomb's not going down, so Akron needs to play patient. He did see them, and now he's got another teammate with him, gonna push through top laundry. 
Is Ooh. oh no, both kills coming in for RMU. Just gonna leave Pack in a one v three. This is still doable. They know he has to plan. I think Pac's gonna, yes, Pac's gonna sniff out the A push here. Top ring and just not ready. And wow, RMU stringing, stringing together a good offense there. Yeah, that was the best round we've seen from him. Gonna get all uh, four kills almost immediately. A good start from RMU to maybe bring this SND back into play for them. But Akron back on the offense here. They only need two rounds to close this map out. Phoebe seven and two. Again, the guy I talked about in the pre-series to really go off here, and he's doing exactly what I thought. And interested, they are going to opt to go B here. And RMU's going to have two at A. Yeah, I don't know if Atkins is missing. Oh, me Donkey going to pick off Pack here. It's a good pick from him, but I think he's going to pick off C's while he's putting that We can't kill him, though. He's gonna, wait, did he jump off the he map? Off the and Tobe's going to pick off Crayon. They know this guy's still back at A. If they kill... If they kill... Uh, it's me, Donkey here, top laundry. They're gonna have a free plant. Hey, yeah, Phoebe hears them. Oh, I well, love that climb up from him. Just breaking the ankles of me, Donkey there. Pug, though, left in a 1v2. They know the location of Pug. They just need to get bombed down here. Uh, it seems like not, Jake, because yeah, they just both it. ran pillars right towards them. But thankfully, neither of them died there. It's gonna be a post plant situation here for Akron as Pug has a tall mountain to climb to hold, knock down two members of Akron and defuse this bomb. You see Tobes is pushed all the way out back to behind Kitchen, so they're gonna, they should have an idea of where this player is going to be coming from. Yeah, Pug's got to take his time here and clear every corner. There's so many spots to sit here, and he actually might get this pick here. I don't know I don't know if Thieves is going to recognize it. He might see the head of Thieves. He's going to see it, and Thieves picks it up. Thieves does not miss and does not lose this. No, that 74 can be tricky sometimes, too. Sometimes dropping the aim assist. Absolutely a good round from. Uh oh. Hopefully our game didn't crash. Okay, I didn't. We're good. And that was off a of first blood from RMU, too. That was off a of first blood. You're right. I mean, if you're looking on the side of RMU, man, Pug right now is 1 and 6. That's not the score line you really want to have uh, against this Akron squad. Thieves 10 and 2 right now. Uh, we'll stay on board with him and see if he can, you know, start pushing up these numbers even higher. Huge. You see, RMU isn't going to challenge mid anymore. Thieves has been there almost every round. Yeah, all on the Topes here, though. The lone survivor here. And yeah, he's going to get some shots in him. He's instantly going to back up. I like this play from him. No need to throw your life away if you can't get a trade. Can slow push here from RMU. Yeah, it looks like they're going to wait for it. I think they're just waiting for a pick. I mean, honestly, Akron, they're taking their time. Look at number 65 on the map. They're just trying to clear out angles here. Wow, Hart's going to catch off Crane off the rotation here. And I don't, I, don't, I don't think RMU was expecting him to be there. Hop on board no. with Hart's here if we can. He's kind of the lone survivor here. Oh, they're going to hear that glass break, though. For sure, he realized that. Oh, and they know exactly where he is. Yeah, like the spot from Phoebe's though, gonna be able to chuck pull here, but he also has to watch his zig push. I think he's gonna opt this maybe back up and go money here. Yeah, packing on a big, on a big heckle here. Bombs going down though for RMU. Pack sees pug top, top, uh, top bedroom there, but me donkey gonna knock off Phoebe's and wow, what looked like to be a good action round. Uh, they now have to climb a 2v3 with the bomb down. Yeah, and good rotation from uh, RMU to rotate back to A. Yeah, Topes, Topes, what are you going to do? Come on, man. I don't, I don't think Topes has time, but Pax and kill me, Donkey. It's a 2v2. Yeah, hop on board with Pack here. I don't know why. He I mean, 20 seconds. They got to push here. They don't have time to really take. Oh, he's not going to see him inside of there. And Tiki. Yeah, and Topes is all the way on the flank here. He's just, there's not enough time mathematically. He's going to get two kills here instantly. No. And, wow. Oh, it's to come down. RMU going to take the round 5 2 for Akron. I mean, maybe maybe Akron just took way too long to, you know, push off the A bomb site. Hart got that first rotation kill, so I'm pretty sure he called out that they were rotating to the B bomb site, but maybe it just took them way too long to, to get set up and RMU just abuse them for that. Yeah, and I was surprised Hart didn't pick up another one there because RMU had no idea that he was there until he killed that uh, RMU player. Um, another offensive round here for akron which is okay a defense seems to be the only two losses we had so hopefully in this offensive round we can take it here and only one from rmu gonna be on this bomb site look at mid map though look at number four here he's gonna be sitting mid pillars and i don't know if akron sees him or not he is one of akron needs to look over there Thieves. Yeah, they don't know they don't know he's there he's gonna be behind them like, oh my gosh Thieves turns on c's though which is a massive kill but look at rmu one on the flank and two pushing up Tobe's gonna pick off pug the stun goes on to me donkey in the back crayon also in the flank 2v2 akron versus for rmu that was a huge save eliminating Tobes with another one it's gonna be a 2v1 now crying he's gonna rotate opt to rotate all the way back to laundry yeah getting this bomb down for Tobes. 
2 of you one for Cryon here. We can stay on board with him as he has to mount this 2 of you one here. Bomb is planted, and I think, yeah, the Akron boys are going to opt to just stack together in art, or no, maybe, yeah, Phoebes is holding mid. Looks like, yeah, they're just both playing mid together. Bomb, mid. Bomb is so. down for mid. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I think I think Cryon knows this. And so he's, oh, he's going to run right into Phoebes here. He is. He's not going to see him laying down. Like, there it is. I love that post plant play from Akron. They're going to opt to stick together and just hold mid. It's, it's just picture perfect. Again, it's it's Phoebes le left alive. I mean, I don't think he was contested that entire game. I love to see the scoreboard for him uh, at the end there. But sadly, in Codcast, we can't see that, which sucks. Yeah, by playing for middle, you really limit your uh, ways that RMU was able to push there. Yeah. And hey, with that, Akron picks up map two of the series this is best of five so if we win this next control akron will close this series out with a 3-0 rmu still has a chance though we could take this next control and a hard point to push us to a map five jake we're both hoping here that we end it here on 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 the third map we don't want a, a recap of wvu but after that snd i mean it looks like rmu is running out of gas here really i mean they had a great start to the hard point the snd they only picked off two rounds after going down 0-4 off the start of that and Again, we, what we talked about, checkmate control, we absolutely decimated WVU on that. And so, you know, I, I think WVU might be the better team after just watching from last week. So if I could get three of WVU on checkmate uh, control, I'm expecting the same thing here against RMU. Absolutely. Uh, I don't doubt that it might be, will it be a three-round sweep? That's the question, I think. I, I mean, believe I feel that make it. I mean, again, like they can play a respawn. It looks like Army can play a respawn, but again, like, can the team play control though, right? Like, control can be one of those games where you can instantly get put in a spawn trap or get abused on control, right? There's not, you know, so I mean, it's very easily possible, but I, I think Army can pick up a round or two on, on this checkmate control. Yeah, I don't think it'll come on defense. Defense, I'm very confident that Akron will uh, lock it down. Offense, I mean, though need to cap at least one of the hills before you can play tdm the biggest problem i i feel when even i'm watching scrims with akron on, on these on especially just control but even checkmate is they focus so much on kills that they don't get you know it's kind of hard to get the initial 30 kills you know so in control you have 30 lives to pull from each round it, after you kill the enemy team 30 times to deplete their lives uh the, the round's over but Control starts with a minute and 30 on the clock, which is not a lot of time. And so if Akron does not, you know, spends too much time focusing on kills and not capping the point, RMU could win by default from Akron not capping a point. So it, it really is finding that good balance of like slaying them out, looking for those kills, but also making sure you don't just completely neglect the, the, the time and hill. Yeah, you see it time and time again where you have teams that are, they're up it by like five or 10 lives, but then they, you look up at that scoreboard and you only have about 20, 30 seconds to cap a hill. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely agree. And hey, hop in the checkmate control. This could be the last map for Akron versus RMU. Akron up 2-0. Jake, I'm putting the 3-0 here on the board for Akron. I am as well. The only question is how many rounds will it be? Akron's going to be starting on offense. Defense. Or no, on defense, on defense, yeah, defense, defense. That's what we want. We want to start here on, here on defense. Look at this. Top plane control is what we're looking for. Pack and hold this cross. Hey, Donkey looking for that hex glitch, though. Whoa, yeah, it's going to rip off. Rip off both. But Kobe's going to get the trade on the Cryon. And three go down for Akin really quickly. And yeah, I think all of our MUs are going to look stacked towards his A site. That was a huge kill from Pug getting Tobes out of top plane. They, weren't, they didn't have top plane control off the start. Now look at this, three, oh, look at this flank from Thieves, gonna pick up two, can't kill the third on the side, I don't know if he knows where he's at though, top play, oh my gosh, Thieves picked off Pug, can't get the fourth on the hill though, it's just Thieves, the pitch coming in, he doesn't get it, but Tobes gets a trade, wow, Thieves saving Akron, what seemed to be an awful start for them, Thieves picks up three and just saves them from going down this first round. And you have Hearts is gonna be again in the other team's base, what is he gonna be able to do here? Yeah, Hart's looking for those spawn kills for sure. Yeah, he just shot C's in the back. You know, they're pretty mad in comms, but he's going to get traded. But again, just causing nuisance, running down that the time on the clock. Akron obviously played four stuff here on the, on the map. Thieves, again, already four and two, starting off here, just holding this plain wing. He's cr crazy. Never counted as a kill if you shoot at him first. 
Gonna get knocked down though. Oh, by, by 74U from Cryon. Good shots from him. Trade's going back and forth, and Army is still opting to push this A site. Pack here with his AR. Has a lot to do here. Gonna get, oh, the trophy's still gonna stop his son from coming through. And it looks like they're gonna give it up. Yeah, I, I don't think he can test, contest it in time. I would have loved to see Akron contest that time, because he easily could have done that. They're gonna get these trades, which is good, but the, the lives are even, and now Army has another minute and 30 to cap his B site. Yeah, very interested. I would like to see Akron get control of top plane here. You have Tobes holding them in their spawn. They're they're locked in their spawn right now. I mean, after that forward wipe, you saw Akron just instantly push up from Akron control. Look at number eight and six on the map. Well, six uh, looks like uh, Tobes just died. But yeah, they're just going to try and push up the map as much as possible and not allow RMU to get anywhere close to this B control point. They're in solitary confinement now. They, they're going to need to look at the time at this point. Yeah, RMU just needs to slow it down. They do have time on the clock to get 50 seconds, but they got to look for some opening picks here if they want to even think about touching this B-side. I mean, just like that, like like I said, like listen to me, they, they knocked down three. It's all left on the OGN here. And he's going to go down. That's four down for Akron. Huge. You're going to see all three of RMU hop onto the hill here, try and cap this as fast as possible. Yeah, it looks like they're actually going to opt out of it. Yeah, they're gonna try and get some top lane control. They know that they knocked down another wave of Akron here, but Pack on the flank, I like this play. Tobes contesting, gonna get knocked down. Thieves with a weird off angle here, a little too far away. And yeah, they're trying to slide back and forth. They're not give Thieves the opportunity to get any kills. A tick and a half for RMU. Akron needs to hop on this side. As it, oh, it's actually about to hit two ticks here. Yeah, two ticks. Hart's able to knock them off the hill, but you're gonna see more kills from RMU. They're gonna be on. They're going to be on the unique pack to push right here. He needs them to stay alive, though. Pack the lone survivor with not much time left. Chief's got to make these plays, but he's going to get traded by Punch. RMU's putting two top plane here. And, you know, I'm not opting to stack the hill, but it's working That's for gonna them. That's going to be RMU. Yeah, we, you know, I think we both said, well, RMU opt to hop out of the hill because they opt to take top plane control to stop anyone from flanking. And it ends up working for them in their favor. Yeah, it really did. They knocked down all four for Akron. They were able to get control of mid map. We thought they would try and cap it as fast as possible, but they realized that rather than uh, getting two ticks, it'd be better off if they could get control of the map. Yeah, RMU for sure showing some life now here in this control. A pretty solid round from them. I'm liking how they're playing. They're getting the trades and they're lighting up that kill feed for sure. But hey, Akron on offense here. And Jake, you said in the pregame, it, it, they're going to take a round. It's going to be an offense. Uh, Yeah, look for uh, the kills coming for Akron here two so far just need to get them out of top lane yeah og and hearts does have top plane who never who, i think oh they're yeah, bottom no. plane they're under they're the wing yeah feeds not gonna let me don't do anything cry on in the back gonna get traded though from him but look at this akron already a tick and a half here crime the only one in the back of their spawn gonna be pinched here he knows it's contested though tobes making problems Pack taking a now two ticks on a yeah, RMU is just opting to really play slow here. Look for these picks, but they're playing a little too slow. And Akron, it's, they're about to get a free A site here. Yeah, they Akron. almost gave it up completely. Well, actually, they didn't. They did knock two off of A, but Tobes is in their spawn right now. So we need to look towards him here to hopefully get some opening picks. Yep, that's what we're looking for. Going to pick off Pug. Tobes going to get top lane control. Thieves going to knock down Cryon here in mid-map. Going to push these yellow crates. And Akron just needs to stack this hill real quick to get the rest of this time. So all the A site was open does get knocked off though from Donkey. Oof, Donkey Tobes. holding down that A site. Yeah, Tobes is trying to hold top plane there, but they're not going to let him out alive for free. Ooh, C's knocking down Pack here on the side. And Akron needs to slow it down. Our RMU is up one life here, but Akron really with 40, sec 40 seconds left on the clock, they got to put all their effort towards here this A site. Yeah, you've already got two ticks. It's not going to take much to get it down all you need is one team wipe and you should be able to take this site i mean that's there it is two kills from akron. yeah it looks like he's the last guy left for for rmu he's gonna go down and good job from akron another minute 30 on the clock lives are in favor of akron all of them go down for rmu you're gonna see them all spawn up armory and behind wood and you got pack now sneaking into the base here with the Craig. yeah i love this play from pack just to continue to mess with them one take towards akron i like it who is this on the site here, Joe? Oh, Tobes negative. Goes down. Yeah, look, look at this heavy pack from Thieves. Yeah, they're going to keep pushing in their spawn. Look at this crossfire from Pack. Pack picked up two in their spawn, and they don't know what to do right now. He's just spawn they're trapping. So about him. They're so worried about him that this tech, second tick is going to go down on B. 
Yeah, Akron opts to push three out of the hill here. Tobe's going to look for some map control. They look for the kills, but, you know, since they weren't stacking the hill, they're only able to get two ticks there. Uh, but I think a well worth it. Look at the lives here. 17 to 7. Akron up 10 lives. Yeah, this is huge at this point. If you wanted to opt to play TDM, you could. They really could now, but RMU also has to worry about this objective because it's a tick and a half away from, I mean, a half a tick away from me, it being over. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at, look at it right there. Oh my gosh, oh, he's geez. mapping. Headshot. Yeah, look at the red dots. So all spawning now, not a chance from RMU. Akron with a decisive comeback on offense. We're tied to one to one. Yeah, I'm not really sure what happened there on defense. You just saw team wipe after team wipe going on, going on for RMU there. Huge kills for Pack here in the back. Gets them so distracted that they gotta kill him before they can make any progress towards that B site. Yeah, Pack's absolutely the reason they were able to snowball it into that game there. He pushes the back of the spawn. I think he's back there for like 30 seconds and picks off four or five kills back there, sitting there with the creek because he knows, you know, again, it's control, it's glorified TDM, and those spawns are not flipping Jake. And so they're gonna keep spawning there, back, you know, back armory, and he's just gonna keep picking them off for free. No, yeah, you got three spawn points, and if he's sitting graffiti, they're all going to be right in front of him. Back let's on if, defense now. Yeah, we'll see if Akron can maybe swing this defense in their favor after a tough off, uh, a tough defense last time. But two good down for yeah. Akron pretty quickly. One going to be on A. Toby's the only one that picks up three. Oh, huge. That's insane. Three with the huge. pistol to keep, keep Akron alive. And instead of taking down A, he's going to opt to keep control of top plane, really playing the lives here. Look at this, though. Even though we get those kills, I mean, two ticks already for RMU on this A control site. Hart's going to pick up one, slow it down, hopefully kill a second guy. Like Hart. Oh, it's, but me donkey's going to be top plane. He needs to get the pack needs to get this kill on the side here. Pack, where are you looking? You knew he was there. I guess the comms yeah, weren't there. They're the gonna site. get a free. Yeah, man, look at that. Two minutes left for for them to cap this B side. Akron struggling here on defense. Checkmate control. But they do have control of mid map. Although they have lost the objective, you just can't see another wipe like we did last round on on defense. I mean, Jake, you say that, but yeah, they're they're for Akron instantly. Hard that must have been my fault. <laughs> yeah, look at that. They're gonna sack the site. There's two, there's two on, I think, no, just one on it. So Akron not going to be out of it yet. I like the play to get top plane control. I think Hearts is going to opt to sit here and hopefully just pick, pick off some people. Tobes going to pick off one, he did two. Tobes picks up two, can he kill the third inside? But no, Pax will be willing to get that. Akron turning this team fight around. They know they're going to be spawn trapped. Look at this play from Tobes. Pushing up another spawn, number eight on your mini map as well. Thieves pushing back yellow. I like this play from him to hopefully get these spawn traps going. This is huge. Tobes needs to find a kill here too. They're gonna walk past them. They're not gonna know he's hop there. On number, hop on with number six here. He's in the back of their spawn. Toast picks up two. That's big from him, but there's still two in the site here. You need to see Akron stays alive. Him. Huge knows he's on the site. Takes him down. That's big. Tobe stops that second tick from coming in, so he's now able to deplete the bar and kind of deprogress all that progress that army made. Take control of top plane. This man is on a mission. He's on a stick streak. I mean, yeah, it was Pack last round. Right now, it's Tobe. He's now 20, about to be 24 and 12. He wins these. He absolutely does. 24 and 12. Tobe is lighting up the kill feed and keeping Akron alive in this back and forth control right now. Seven, eight. He's on an eight streak right now. Can he get nine? Get on board, Tobe's here. This man is, does not miss with the pistol. Picks up the knife, but does get traded by Cryon. But guess what? Look at the time. We're only a minute left. Akron is up by five lives here. Yeah, huge from Tobe's to get that life count. For Akron in their favor. Yeah. Kind of control of the map as well. Yeah, Akron's just making it too tough for them to even think about pushing the point right now. They're just constantly taking off angles. You see Phoebes and Toes pushing out both corners of the map, just making them making RMU question whether they're where they're at. Yeah, RMU realizing that they're down to about one or two pushes here. Gonna have to play these lives carefully. Yeah, probably have about one good push here left for RMU before it gets really scrappy. Tobe's gonna pick up another two, 28 and 13. I mean, they get, I mean, right now it's it's the Tobe show. If they don't shut this kid down, it's not gonna be pretty for them. Still on a tear, finally get shut down top plane. But three go down three. for Akron. All into hearts here. Hearts needs to make a power play. Has top plane control though, it's big for Akron. They don't have to worry about top plane. They know that all of RMU is stacked below. We donkey picking off these, but like this playing from him. Can he pick up two? He does. The play we need from him and Akron picking up the defense here on checkmate. 
Yeah, instead of going straight for the objective, you see Hearts there wait for his team to get together and then drops down right on top of him and says, hey, I'm still here. Yeah, again, that round was the Tobe show. Without him there, I think RMU might have actually won that round. He goes on an eight spree, 20, he's like 25 and 13 They're or something nine. right now. Yeah, I mean, he's just They're not nine dying. Three. Yeah, he's just not dying right now. So again, Akron hopping on this offense. RMU needs to win this round to keep him alive, but Akron might take it here and they'll end their next offensive. He's getting kills with the pistol. He Topes is on a tear. I mean, I don't think I've seen a three piece with the pistol all year long yet. And he just did it on that like around like like last round. I have and that was beautiful. Two go down. Two three go down for hearts. We missed a little bit of that, but man, what a triple kill from hearts. Each player from Akron really turning to step this game up right now, all making these power plays. Hearts, oh, thieves and hearts with this cross player here. I love that stun. The crown's gonna take him out, but guess what? While all that was going on, Pack is sitting on A looking to get that first pick. Oh, and Seize is able to stay alive from Pack. Cryon, see, uh, Cryon from the side. Thieves now looking to take them back. Tobes. Hold up, pre nades from Tobes. Gets him weak. He's gonna push through on it. He gets it. Gonna get the second tick here on it. Yeah, it looks like Akron right now is really opting to play these kills. Look at it already. We're already up nine, like nine lives up on on them. Even though we haven't really got this A control site, I love how Akron's playing TDM right now since they have so much time on the clock. Oh, and Tobes finally gets shut down. Thieves. Hart's gonna finish up that A. Yeah, Hart's gonna finish it up. I guess what Thieves was in their spawn that entire time, which is why Army struggled so much. And look at that. We have kind of look at that live count. Yeah, that live count. It's so big for Akron. And now, now they have all the tempo, all the all the pace to control this rest of this checkpoint. You got two up minutes and all you need is 14. I'm still, I think I think Tobes called in streaks there. I'm not sure. I think I saw a, a briefcase open up for a second. But yeah, they know that all of our will be stunning back to cardboard here. And it's just, they're just not slowing down right now, Jake. Tobes is on a tear. He finally gets shut down. Thieves still going to stay in their base. They're Look only going to spawn eight, in one spot. Number eight. Thieves is doing exactly what uh, what Steve was doing, was doing Yep. They can't get him out of the base. They can only spawn armory. More streaks in for Akron from Hearts. Uh, it's in a and all line. three of his teammates. Yep. While Thieves is doing that, blocking spawns over on the left side. Now finally, oh, one does spawn, takes out Thieves. Hearts getting the kills. Look Your at teammates Akron. only have one spot to look. Look at the kills right now. It's 22-3 right now. Akron is not missing, and they are playing the most picture perfect. They're playing better right oh. now than they play against WVU. I don't know what happened that first round, but Akron is playing light out checkmate control right now. And this is going to be GG. It's all up to you, uh, to Pug in a 1v20 something. 1v20, you don't think? Oh, we got... There it is. No. Oh my Akron. If you're an Akron fan right now, that last control shows so much hope for this team for the rest of this year. Yeah, the kills from Tobes. Hearts here with three right at the beginning of the round. You do that, now you have control. You can just keep them in their base. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, Jake, it really just seemed like at the end of that, that last control, every player from Akron stepped up at one point or another during that control series. You had Steve during that that first offensive round spawn trapping. You had Tobes completely popping off that round two. Hearts just making all the right plays. It just seemed like Akron was not was like it, it's the best I've seen them play as a team so far this year in scrims and in official matches so far. Yeah, the team play was amazing. Where you have, I assume the comms were there where you got Thieves sitting in the base or Steve just, just forcing them to spawn in that armory, and all three of them just like sentry turrets, just sitting waiting for them to come out like little ants. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I, I'm super impressed. Checkmate control, a map again that we're seeming to get better and better at. I don't I mean, even think about it. We lost that first round that was, didn't look really pretty from Akron. That round one Akron to that round three Akron, are, I mean, well, round four, the last one we won right there, it looked like two different teams. Now, if Akron can simulate what they did to that last control point every single time, I don't think there's a team in our division that can keep up with that, that, that level of play from Akron. Yeah, it just took him a little while to get started. Maybe on that first round, you got to kind of pick up arm use tendencies and see what they're trying to do here. Absolutely. And with that, we are done for the night. Guys, everyone in chat who had joined us, thank you so very much for hanging out with us. Um, Akron with a dominant 6-0 in map counts. 2-3-0.
We are now 4-0 in the CCL. Uh, we'll have more action next week. I don't know who we're playing. It might not be on stream. So, again, if you want to keep up to date with all things Akron, not just our Call of Duty team, you can follow us on Twitter. You can follow the Twitch channel for free at Zips Esports. And you can also join our Discord if you're a U Akron student um, at uakron.edu uh, forward slash Discord. And Such the, an excitement. Yeah. And besides that, guys, we're going to close up the stream. A quick thank you to our sponsors. Um, thank you, Audio Technica, our official audio peripheral sponsor. Steel Series, our peripheral sponsor. Um, Gravity Gaming PCs, our official PC provider. Archon, our jersey provider. And Cleveland Clinic, our sports health sponsor. Thank you to those guys for helping this program run. Jake, thank you so much for helping out with Cassie tonight. My name's Hunter, and we've had Charlie G on the stream running the broadcast. So thank you to him. This has been Zipsy Sports. Thank you so much for following. Have a great rest of your night, and we'll see you next time.